disturbing details about Patrick Swayze's last days emerge years after death. Patrick Swayze didn't simply die of pancreatic cancer. Sadly, there was much more going on in his final days, disturbing details of which have since emerged, years after his untimely death. Patrick Swayze and his wife Lisa Nimi were married for 34 years prior to the 57-year-old actor's tragic death in 2009, and although some report that the pair had one of the most romantic and enduring relationships in Hollywood, others now tell a much different and incredibly darker tale. Years after his death, insiders, including Patrick Swayze's former maid, have come forward and branded his now widow an animal claiming Lisa battered and abused Patrick both before and after he was diagnosed with cancer. In addition, friends say the marriage was not only abusive but Lisa also cheated on Patrick with both men and women. In his tragic last days, wasting away from savage pancreatic cancer, Patrick Swayze was imprisoned in a house of horrors, deserted by his cheating, abusive wife, who left the dying star to wallow in his own filth. Reports Radar Online that's the shocking charge by one of the Dirty Dancing icon's closest friends, who rips the lid off what was believed to be a Hollywood fairy tale marriage, the publication adds. He loved her with all his heart, but it was a serious love-hate relationship, Patrick's longtime friend allegedly told Radar. She would beat on him and he would beat on the walls and furniture. They fought and I covered up a lot of that, they destroyed hotel rooms, cars, their house. It was abusive, the source added. The abuse didn't stop when Patrick got ill. Even when her husband had cancer, Lisa still reportedly attacked him. Oh, yeah, it didn't matter. She wouldn't hit him with stuff, she would claw at his arms and neck. She would punch and slap him, the friend said when asked if Lisa would still hit her husband during his 21-month battle with cancer. But, Patrick supposedly never hit her back. As he got sick. He was defenseless, the unnamed source continued. Cancer brought him from 180 pounds to 90 pounds. She always had, the, upper hand because he wouldn't hit her. He was adamant about never ever laying his hands on her. Allegations against Lisa also claim that the wife was neglectful towards her dying husband. Lisa would be gone for hours doing whatever she was doing and Donnie, Patrick's brother Don Swayze would come in and Patrick would be lying in his own feces and pee, the friend recalled. Additional insiders also claim Lisa isolated her husband from family and friends before he died. She wouldn't even let him go outside the ranch, she pretty much kept him prisoner, said a family friend who was close to Patrick's mother Patsy, who died in September 2013 at age 86, shortly after Lisa attempted to toss her out of the Simi Valley home that Patrick had purchased for her which the widow inherited, according to Radar. Could you imagine not being able to see your son who is dying? The family friend added. It was unexplainable. There is no excuse for it and I don't know what Lisa was thinking. In order to talk to people, Patrick supposedly had to wait to call them after Lisa had fallen asleep. He'd call me at 2 a.m. after she had already passed out and we would talk at that time. The friend said. It was unusual but yet again that was Lisa, she was that way. Apparently, Lisa didn't have a good reputation among those close to her and her husband. I was afraid of her. She would be normal one minute, then the next she would be furious at something, Patrick's ex-maid said, according to Evoke. She was like an animal. The unnamed maid who worked for Patrick for 30 years, also claimed Lisa abused Patrick on a regular basis in his last few weeks on Earth. I didn't see a lot of the abuse but I heard it. When she drank, she would get cabrona, the maid alleged, using the Spanish for bitchy. Lisa's mistreatment of her husband, which allegedly plagued their long marriage, didn't just include verbal and physical abuse. There were also rumors of affairs. However, Patrick never left his wife allegedly because he feared she would reveal a secret of his. The humiliated hunk, however, was hooked on a promise he made to his mother Patsy to never divorce Nimi for fear that she would reveal a dark secret that would ruin his career, Radar claims. But, Lisa's affairs weren't a big secret. We would talk like old friends, like what was going on in our lives and, the affairs, would come up, said childhood friend Charlotte Stevens 
who encouraged the star to dump Lisa because of several affairs which were known to his family and close friends. I would tell him, you mean to tell me she's having these affairs and you haven't stepped out on her? And he would say, no I don't want it used against me. During the same two-month period which Lisa banned anyone from visiting Patrick at their California home called Rancho Biasero, the dying star signed a new will that left his entire $40 million estate to his wife and absolutely nothing to his family. However, a handwriting expert commissioned by Radar claimed the signature was a forgery. Of course, Lisa, who remarried four years after Patrick's death, has adamantly denied any and all allegations of wrongdoing towards her late husband. Sadly, the truth likely went to the grave with Patrick Swayze, where most believe the rumors should be left to die. However, there's something important to be learned from the allegations surrounding the beloved actor's death, if you see something, say something. A man who was loved by many and was already suffering the excruciating demise associated with pancreatic cancer may have also been shockingly and disturbingly abused in those final moments behind closed doors by a woman who his loved ones knew to be an animal. Yet, he was left defenseless, in her clutches, because these sources kept quiet, only speaking out years after his death. There are times in life where loved ones should speak up and even intervene regardless of how those involved might feel about it. If true, this was definitely one of those times. Everyone deserves to die with honor and integrity. It's heartbreaking to think that Patrick Swayze may not have had that common courtesy bestowed upon him in his final moments simply because no one said something while he was still alive.